you can experience the thrill of whitewater wrestling right there on your way. Welcome to the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western. This is Brian. I'm glad you're here. And if you're not already a subscriber, I want to encourage you to subscribe. Because when you're a subscriber here, you get access to a lot of great model railroad video uploads. And so now that you're subscribed, we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video upload, which is coming up right now. Let's get ready to and like I said, welcome to the channel. We're very... So what we're going to be doing is putting this HO scale whitewater raft and outpost together for you today, showing you the assembly process. What we're going to do first is talk about all the pieces. Second, we're going to come back in and I'm going to tell you the steps in which we're going to build it. And then at the end, we'll give you a lot of good views and looks in every direction once it's all put together before we box it up and ship it out to our customer. So what we're going to do is, like I said, I'm going to talk to you about the pieces first. You got deck railings, you have inserts to prevent light bleed, you've got the beams to support the base. You've got the roof and the roof insert to make the roof fit like a top. Alright. You've got your top deck. You've got the bottom base. Your doors, your stairs, your stale railings, and your whitewater rafts. And we'll be probably painting these whitewater rafts a different color. Um, I don't think they actually come in tan, too, I think. But anyway, um, so what we'll be doing is uh, the first thing we've got to do is these, I talk to you about how these models are come to you. All right. These pieces are on what's called a raft, and all you got to do to take them off this raft is flex this thing and pop it to break them off, alright? See? I'm not going to take it all the way off because they're great because they keep your pieces organized and in place, especially if you're going to paint. And so I'm not going to be painting the majority of this model, but what I am going to do is I'm going to try to um, hit these window frames right here. I'm going to try to hit them with this color, all right, because I think that's going to make the model look a whole lot better. I could leave these wood, uh, wood color, but I think if I can get these tan to match the accessories, I really think the model is going to look a whole lot better. It's going to be a little bit of work, but that's okay. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to come in here and I got to tape this off, all right, and I'll show you how I tape it off. Probably be in time lapse, but you get to see me do that. Then I come back in once it's taped off and I will be mixing my brown and my parchment color together hopefully to make this tan. If we can get the paint to match right then we're going to come over here with the airbrush filming and I'm going to show you me airbrushing I'm going to show you me airbrushing the window frames this color. Then we'll be coming back in popping these off and putting the window filament on the inside. Um, you don't want to do that until you've got all your painting done and stuff. So once we've got the paint dry here, we'll flip them over. We'll do the window filament on the inside. While that's drying, we'll put this base together. As you can see, this base is in two pieces because the outpost base in HO scale is larger than 200 millimeters in this direction. So I have to use dovetail joints to join them and I assure you once I pop these off this raft and snap them in you can barely tell that they're, um, they're even as a seam. Um, and they hold tight and good. There's no flexibility. There's no wobble or anything like that. It's a good sturdy piece. They're very thick and that makes that um, work well. Alright so what we're going to be doing is um, I'm going to be grabbing the tape come in here and I'm going to start taping. I'm going to put you in time lapse. I'm going to start taping. I'll probably take you out of time lapse. Um, when I come back in uh, before I get started airbrushing um, and then I'll probably put you back in time lapse once I start airbrushing. So thank you for joining us again. Long intro but I wanted to explain what all we got going on in this video. That's how we're going to do it and what we're going to do and in the order in which we're going to do it. Thank you for joining us and here we go. We're going to get to work now.
All right, welcome back. What we're getting ready to do is we have airbrushed the uh, window panels, and now we're getting ready to move the tape, and then we'll begin the assembly process. Then we're back. We're gonna put this thing together. These look good. I don't say so myself. Or if I do say so myself. Objective right now. We will get these off the raft, make sure they fit in well, snap them in, pull them back out, glue them down. Let them dry. So.
Hey, welcome back. Alright, welcome back, and we are getting ready to just about finish this guy up. We're getting almost to the accessories now. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to put this deck in, the roof, and put this deck on, these walls on, the roof on, and then we'll let that dry and we'll come back in and do our accessories. And let's make sure this fits in here right first. Let me get this in the This guy do a test fit. Fit snug. Lee. Alright. Alright everybody, we back and uh, we got a dry roof now and so I show you how this works. It's pretty, these roofs are kind of hard to get on. That's it, it's on. That. Retractable. Fits like a top. See, I can't move it off. Change the light in there. If you want to do some interior, I guess you could do some. Um, you'd have to do the interior um, what you could do before you put the deck on, you could do the uh, interior over here and here as well. What we're going to do is getting ready to do the doors. And we're going to come in and do the deck railings and the stairs. We'll box this up and send it out.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see if we can't finish this up. All right, everybody, that's how we assemble the whitewater rafting outpost in the HO scale. Just got to put the stairs under here, box it up, and send it out. There is the whitewater rafting outpost from Iron Horse Hobbies. If you are interested in getting one of these models, we have a link to the Etsy and the eBay stores in the description. You can find them there. Thank you for watching. If you're not already a subscriber, I want to encourage you to subscribe. Click the bell icon and don't forget to share this with your other modeling friends. Thank you very much.